Welcome back, pretty amped actually to bring you our all new series and new episode. Trying to change it up a heap more for the new series. I'm moving more onto the camera and less on the rods. I'll still be the annoying person talking. Pretty excited about this first trip. We are heading out of Kaikoura. Dan skippering today. Shanos is on the rods for the first one. Last night after work, made our way down to Kaikoura. Parked up at Craigie's for the night. Had a few uh, white pointers. They were a good job. You have? Oh yeah, some didn't you, Shane? Us one. One. Yeah. Then I went to bed. You guys had it. Just launched. Looks like it's going to be a mill pond today. Yeah. So for the first episode, guys, we're going to have an attempt at a bluefin tuna. Couldn't be more excited to be back filming and fishing again. Probably been. Oh, would you say six months since we filmed an episode? With uh, just going through the new boat build because I was doing a new boat build series, we just haven't gotten out. Awesome morning in Kaikoura. I haven't been here for 20, I think 25 years, 98 was when I was last here. Yeah, we decided that with the new rig, it's all new missions. So, first mission, bluefin tuna. Game on. How yeah, good. Look at the backdrop. <laughs> the fishing log is presented by Senator Boats and the 770. Anywhere is possible. Yamaha Marine New Zealand, reliability that just keeps going. Simrad Electronics, finding fish with ease. Shimano Fishing New Zealand, designed and made to catch even the biggest of slugs. Just made our way out, water temp's 14.9. The water's too green though, it's not really clear at all. It's like junk junk, isn't it? What was that, Dan? Tuna? Yeah, it's um, super green, like horrible green. We need to find some blue water, otherwise the lures aren't really going to do much in this, I wouldn't imagine. But we've got all the lures out, all black magic we're running. We've got Zippy Skippy, Grand Slam Alumo. We've got Maggot XTs. That guy there is probably my favourite lure. I've never caught anything on it. Black Magic Jelly Bean. Sort of like the rainbow colours. First trip out of Kaikoura, I haven't been here for years, and uh, the filming duties. You just got people in lined up, obviously, as you go. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> On the new rig, I've got Killwell Slimline Bases and the outriggers are 4.5 telescopic and they're actually pretty awesome because they're not massive and obnoxious like normal outriggers I mean we're not towing lures all the time or doing this so having permanent ones on board or just long ones are just a bit annoying to store in the shed so these telescopic ones are actually outstanding Just gone eight o'clock, and we it actually probably took us a good hour to get the lures and teasers and everything running. It's our first time uh, setting up the outriggers and doing all that, so it was a bit of fine tuning, working it all out. And then uh, we just set up Shanos and uh, Black Magic Twin Pin Pro gimbal belt. The beauty of that gimbal is it's uh, you can use it on bent butts or straight butts, which is the old the old ones are just a single butt, so. There's two points there to chuck a rod in. And also a lot of the rods we've got today are the new Shimano Abyss adjustable butts. They are awesome, so with a little push of the button, you can go from a bent butt to a straight butt, which is awesome for uh, deep dropping and all that and trolling and that. So they are a thing of beauty. But yeah, cruising along now, we're sort of in a, is that blue or water? Would you say that's blue water or what? It kind of looks, it's dark, isn't it? Is that that's dirty water, isn't it? What what about changing the sound uh, to um, uh, high chirp and running shallow? Because that's that's not telling us much, is it? 
Oh yeah, how's that? Not much better? Or what? Yeah, oh, we'll keep, we'll keep, we've got a day of this, so we'll carry on. I have to say again, guys, I'm absolutely wrapped to be back filming again on the new boat. Like we said, for this, the new series and that, we wanted to be doing a bit more, more action, move away from the snapper and that, and more of a, I don't know, targeting different species and that, and, and the ways to target them. So I'm pretty happy that we're out for the first, first official new flog out in Kaikoura chasing bluefin. Awesome to have you guys along at home, following the lads and supporting the channel. It does mean a lot, guys. Like, it's awesome to have you guys watch the content. Make, and make sure, people always say it, I never say it, but make sure you grab a likes and a, and a thumbs up and the old tick thing and slam the button and, you know. But again, I'm not your mother, so. You're cool. But yeah, it helps all the, um, the YouTube stuff and that anyway. But we are, how far offshore would we be, Dan? We're 12 nautical miles, which is around, probably around 20, uh, 20, 22K, 24Ks, and we're at 1,500 metres. So Kaikoura drops off real deep. Heaps of life out here too, whales, dolphins, seals, all sorts going on, but Kaikoura, it, you know, we, we were only, I'd say, 15 minutes till we were at three or 400 metres deep. So a lot of potential out here. And the tuna have been running up here over the last few days, so fingers crossed. We are waiting for a big SBT. nine o'clock 20 past nine far out. far out okay we just turned around and the water out here is just horrible browny black like i've never oh, it's sort of the water you'd see if you were coming out of a river but not that light brown that just i don't know i don't get it lads oh you can sort of see it's brown here and then blue or closer in eh, or greener but I, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on whether it's some sort of algae bloom which is probably more than likely we just had a tangle, noticed a tangle in the lures. So we just uh, untangled all that. But very quiet, heaps of sign on the sounder. Like heaps of marks, we're about 122 meters, so we're reasonably shallow. And lots and lots of sign on the bottom. Could be, could actually be tuna. We don't really have anything to drop and have a go up for them. We don't have any jigs. But uh, yeah, as you'll see from the screenshot on the sounder, there is lots and lots of, I don't know, potentially could be schools of cooter too, sort of a bit wavy. We'll carry on and see if we can't snaggle onto something. Just gone 10, 10 30. Nothing much is going on. We just had lure tangle after lure tangle. Hooking giant bits of weed. And we're now just having some filled rolls that we got from the Kaikoura Bakery first thing. 
They didn't have them made, so they were in a bit of a panic. <laughs> That's good, eh? Yeah, we're still trucking on anyway. That wind's got up. Probably doing 11 knots now. We've got white capping, so about 11 knots, yeah. So that's a little bit earlier than it was meant to be. So not ideal. That ain't seaweed. That is not seaweed, boys. That's not seaweed. It's on. Oh, is it? Seaweed. Oh, we're going to pull the lures in anyway, so let's just carry on. Yeah, we're just about at that. That's a lot of drag. No, that's not seaweed. That's not seaweed. Is that heading storm? Hold up, Dan. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yep. All right. You're right. Oh, no. Hey, Shane, you need to get the harness off. Oh, really? Um, Shane, that's not going to go strong. We're crossed over, majorly. Wait and we'll pass it to you. Okay. I'm just going to pull it out of gear and then we're going to pass it. Can we put a... Get me to this. Do you want the harness, bro? Have you, have you got a strap on it? Strap on it. Yeah. Here. Here on, Dan. I'd pass this one, one there. Here we go. Do you want the strap? No. Here we go. Hang on. I need to go around the other way if you can, Dan. Yep. How much of do we need on it? It's fine with what it is, pal. It's not going down, it's still way up on the surface, doesn't even know it's really hooked. Oh well, we're uh, fish on. That was uh, carnage, wasn't it? Just let him know, Dan. Don't go punching it four without him knowing, dude. He's got to keep that tension on. Got to keep that tension. It can't be seaweed. It can't be. There's no way. How is it still pulling line at different speeds? It would just pick up speed, but that can't be a bit of weed just changing speed like that. I'm looking at a piece of weed I'm pulling in. Yeah. Back up to it then, so it's not so hard. Oh uh, well, we uh, hooked a giant bit of seaweed. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the the weird thing was we, we we were backing up and we'd stopped right, but it still bent over and started taking line it's a little bit faster. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a solid bit of weed. <laughs> no tail weeds or anything. Else. Oh, that got us good. That was that. That well played, Mr. Seaweed. Yeah. I still thought it was a fish, eh? Yeah. Even when we we're going backwards, it was changing speed. <laughs> as soon as Dan sped the boat up and slowed it down, and then slowed down and sped up, I knew it was Shit, it's not a small bit of weed either, is it? Holy Jesus. All right. Holy. So you guys, I told you, the Pursuit Jelly Bean. That was going to be the lure that did it. There you go. Shotgun. Whoa, there's some very grim faces at the moment, and if you can see inside the cabin. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Son of a female dog, lads. Well, cool, because are we going to reset that lures was... here, or are we going to go out wide? No, nah, we're going to go out wide. down south of the coast trying to find some clearer water and it's still quite green a little bit of a temperature oh big temperature rise 13.3 hold the green mate yeah that's gone up uh, a degree but uh, that wind's just uh, started up as well so now it's probably blowing about I don't know 12 13 knots and yeah we're just making our way back up we're gonna head back up north and Hopefully get you a tuna. Hopefully. Chain off. That's the plan, Stan. That is the plan. Uh, and yes, it's a little bit uh, choppy with side on because we're going to 179 on the chart, which Shane Os wants to hit. Rightio, oh well we um, had a pretty good nudge at it and got to be honest I'm pretty happy we came. But the weather was mint, my first time in Kaikoura in 25 years. Yes we didn't slay any uh, tuna but we had a good go and it seems like no one, no one today got a tuna at all so the water temp was down a wee bit apparently from yesterday when they were catching them. And uh, yeah, we'll try and use every excuse we can. What else we got, guys? We did get that giant chunk of seaweed. But that sort of, that had us going for a wee bit, so that was good value. But after that, Shane off. Clicker, Shane off. Shane off. Clicker. <laughs> See what I've got to put up with every time. Yeah, so where was I before we were talking about the clicker thing? I don't know. 
Yeah. Hey? Seaweed. <laughs> seaweed. Oh, yeah, the seaweed. I should have filmed these two guys' faces when they were in the cabin after that. That was, uh, they'd spiralled. That was now, was that the low of the load for the day, was it? Pretty much. Yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. It's good to be back. Uh, thanks for your support. Make sure you comment and do a like and stuff like that. And yeah, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, it'll be another tuna, bluefin tuna mission or something.